former royal known as Prince Harry truly dumped from this particular organisation simply because of this. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here. Nice to see you on a wet and windy London. Yes, this was the summer that we were promised by all of those weather forecasters that said we were going to have a scorching July rolling into August too. Oh, we're all going to be dripping wet and sweltering, you know. I think they should be held to account, don't you? Because there they are with all this scientific claptrap telling us the world's ending every two minutes. We're all going to be microwaved. And then, as you find out, it's, um, shall we say, book is in it down. I'll be polite, you know what I'm saying? Fed up now with the Brawley, fed up with the Packer Max, aren't you? If you are in London and you're suffering this, or indeed uh, coming across to our wonderful country, the United Kingdom, whether you be in Northern Ireland, Wales, Scotland, you have my sympathies. But there's lots of fun things to do, even in the bad weather, but it's always nicer with a bit of weather, isn't it? Back as ever, though, to your breaking ball story of the day. You know, Sir Cliff Richard had a song a few years back now, called Travelling Light and it looks like this particular company have decided to do exactly that with the former well known as Prince Harry. Now as you know Meghan and Harry love anything to do with lecturing. There they are telling us all about how to be better fathers recently. A couple of weeks ago on their website all the while both not speaking to their own fathers. You couldn't make the hypocrisy up really could you? I mean some people might just say are they really royally thick? Why would you put out a statement like that knowing the sort of situation that you're actually in yourself. But this particular uh, thing really is a strange one in itself because Prince Harry was very much aligned to it. If you recall a couple of years back now, he even starred in one of their promotional videos. We're talking about Travelist. Remember that dreadful acting thing where allegedly dropped a sweet wrapper a couple of years before they tracked him down? Well, they've rebranded, as they say in the company, looking to the future. I love that phrase, don't you? It's happened to me quite a lot, as you can imagine. You know, we're looking at a new venture, right, meaning you're axed and you're moving on. This is exactly what's happened to Prince Harry and Travelist. They can dress it up any way that they want, but they've got a new vision, a new future. And seemingly, it doesn't now include the former royal, even though he's very much financially at some point, some might say, aligned to this particular brand. But there's a bigger problem, you see, because... The story goes, and as ever, you know, we have to say allegedly, is that when they sat down with Prince Harry, you know, they had to really bring up the thorny topic of all of that private jet use. Now, as we know, Prince Harry didn't use a private jet to return back here for the coronation, but he has on numerous occasions. And it's not aligning with their narrative, as it were, as they often say. So according to a very good source, they basically said, could they be assured that there'll be no more of these instances? particularly worldwide media blitz of Harry on private jets. Naturally, as he told us, quite literally, well, he has to have private jets for security, while the rest of us schlep it around the world. And seemingly, that was the bottom line. If they could not be assured of no more private jet use, how could they possibly have him as a figurehead, a masthead? It just doesn't work, does it? So consequently, while they're saying they're rebranding, Moving on and being ever so sweet and nice about it, the bottom line is, quite literally, they're flying, but without him. As ever, it's a developing story, and when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.